Hey guys, here is Stephanie Joan. I'm back with another foundation review. Today we're doing the Burberry Cashmere Long Lasting Flawless Soft Matte Finish. Oh crap. Today we're doing the Burberry, the Burberry Cashmere, God damn it. Burberry Cashmere Long Lasting Flawless Soft Matte Foundation Sunscreen SPF 15. Why is the name so long? Uh, Burberry has, I believe, three different finishes to their foundation, and I believe this is their soft matte, long-wearing version. Um, they have like a luminous version, and I believe a sheer version, and then this is their long wear version. Also, I'll be touching on the nude powder, sheer luminous press powder by Burberry. So let's just get the packaging out of the way. Um, Burberry foundation, high end, yeah. This box is actually embossed. It's like textured. It's so pretty and luxurious. It's like a real box box. You know what I mean. Now what I love about this packaging is that it looks like frosted glass, but it's not. It's actually plastic. I appreciate Burberry for making this plastic because nothing is worse than when you drop your high-end foundation and it cracks everywhere. Anyone who's ever had that happen to them, you understand me. You feel my pain. So on the Sephora website, Burberry describes this foundation as the liquid foundation delivers a long-lasting, flawless complexion wrapped in cashmere-like comfort. The lightweight formula provides buildable coverage to conceal imperfections and create a flawless, even complexion with a soft matte finish. Effortlessly buildable and blendable, its creamy weatherproof texture features SPF 20 to shield against the damaging effects of UVB rays, and it's available in 14 shades to match all skin tones. It's infused with Burberry's signature English blend of rosehip, tea, and lavender. They don't specify what kind of tea, but it's tea. So let's bust out the foundation price. This is $52 and you get one whole fluid ounce for the $52. So color matching range, it does come in 14 shades, although on the Sephora website I only see 13. And I am the color chestnut number 60, which is described as very dark with yellow undertones. Now for me, whenever I go into this realm of foundation, by this realm I mean like higher end foundation, they never really go deeper than my skin tone, so I really do like the fact that they have two shades deeper than I am, but I also noticed that on their range that they don't really go that fair either, so it's like they don't really go all the way out, but they do go far enough out if that makes any sense. Blendability, I'm going to insert a clip from this morning. Good morning, I figured since we're doing high end, might as well do high end. This is the Le Blanc de Chanel Chanel Primer. I have a review on this and I will put it up here somewhere. Let's get our foundation together. Two pumps. with the brush. Blends in pretty easily with the brush. Miracle sponge. I might actually like the brush better. I think I like the brush side better, although the sponge side is more natural, the brush side definitely gives you more coverage. So I'm gonna go in and see how this layers. And I will be using the brush to blend this out because I feel like I got a better look with the brush. This is the foundation after five minutes or so. Nothing really has changed texture-wise. It looks exactly the same, so. Coverage is definitely, as they claimed it to be, a medium to buildable full coverage foundation. By that I mean you could definitely use the same foundation to layer on top of each other as a concealer. And you could just add more of the foundation anywhere that you need more coverage. You don't have to necessarily go in with a whole layer. You can just use it as like a concealer and just spot conceal those places where you need more coverage. Feel. It feels, it feels lightweight. I can say that. It doesn't feel crazy. Um, it doesn't feel lightweight. Okay, I like. It feels like you have makeup on, but it's not like heavy and cakey. It's your skin feels. My skin feels breathable, but it does contain SPF. Now on the box it says it contains SPF 15. In the description it says SPF 20. It's not a really big range, but I don't know what's happening there. Finish. I'm gonna insert a clip of me when I first applied the foundation, and you guys can see it looked soft matte finish. It was a beautiful soft matte finish. Outside of the fact that it's so orange when you first put it on. It's a beautiful wearing foundation or it's a beautiful looking foundation on the initial application. Throughout the day though, <laughs> flash test. It does have a slight flashback. Mm -hmm. Oxidation. So this is a swatch of the foundation when I first sat down to film and we're going to put another one.
Okay, this is my problem with this foundation. It's orange when you put it on. It's just a deeper orange when you leave it on all day. And it got oranger and oranger and oranger. It's just, ugh, I wanted to like it because I feel like the formula is great, but this oxidation just is not cute. I had to go in with a different color face powder just to balance out the orange out of it, and it still turned orange throughout the day. It's like, all it wants to do is be orange. And I've noticed that in the reviews, they all say the same thing, even if you try to go in the lighter shades. Transfer, got my white square, the original swatch. Yeah, I mean, I could have told you that. I didn't have to go this far. It just never really dries. Um, oil control. I'm gonna zoom you guys in and we could do this. All right, hey guys, we're gonna blot together. So as you can see, there is creasing. Separating, separating, creasing. So now we're just going to blot. Let's start with... There is a difference. I mean, it does look good. And that's my whole pro and con with this foundation. It still looks good. It doesn't look great, but it still looks really good. I just wish it wasn't orange. All right, let's zoom out. <laughs> so oil control, it definitely held its own. Um, I don't hate it for oil control. I feel like it does hold back my oils for a really long time. I'd say up to six hours, and then that's when the oils start to seep in or seep through. So long wear, it's definitely long wear. As you can see, it's still here, and it's holding on strong. It held my blush up, uh, my highlight. It's like my face is still nice after one blot, so it definitely is long wear. So in conclusion, how do I feel about this foundation? I have a love-hate relationship with this. The orange color makes me hate it so much, and what sucks is that Whenever I'm looking into buying a high-end foundation, I'm almost always disappointed. Either I'm disappointed in it's being too orange because they always make it orange or there's not a shade in my complexion. It's not that deep. So it's like, can't win on both sides. And the powder, uh, you could skip the powder. This is actually a good powder. No matter how much you do this, it doesn't really kick up. Real dust. And it is so beautiful. It's orange, but it's beautiful. <laughs> So if this was my color, I loved it too. So I like this foundation, I don't love it. You could just get yourself some long comb or Estee Lauder. The range is bigger, it lasts longer, and it's cheaper. Yeah, so it's your girl, Steffi Joe. See you guys next time, bye. Don't forget. I've been down so long and look like up to me. They look up to me. I got fake people showing fake love to me. Straight up to my face.